Hello YouTube, this is Lyra Pipes right here, it's another Airsoft video. Um, I bought this from my tattooist John, um, a, I think it was about 120 quid, uh, it's a gas blowback pistol and you even chucked in extra mags and as you can see they're big mags so that means it's going to be a big pistol, it is, for you Call of Duty players out there, the M93 Rafika. And already you can see that's a bit of a bad boy. It's quite big. Finding a holster for it was a pain in the ass. Um, it is a semi-automatic pistol with a burst setting. Um, I tend to use the burst setting sparingly. I only really would use that if I was going into a like room and clearing it out. Um, Burst-wise, it's got a fair. It's fairly accurate for what it is. Um, a blowback gas pistol. Bearing in mind the barrel is only like what that long. Um, so yeah, it's got that, but it, it will drain the gas, So and gas is bloody expensive. But, um, single shot, it's got a nice hop up inside it, um, it is quite accurate, again, for an airsoft pistol, which again is basically an air powered musket. Um, I quite like it, um, I thought I was going to be getting a SIG 226, um, instead I got that, and I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that. Um, we'll just start off a little bit about it, um, there is a sort of slight concern about this, um, we have the safety catch here which is at the moment set to fire you press it down like that and it you know it'll block the trigger and um, it won't let you actually cock the gun properly um, however the only downside is you put the magazine in the weapon and cock the gun like that it will fire and I'm not even if it's set on single shot it's gonna keep going until it's either out of gas or out of ammo so um, one thing I will say if you do have one of these on um, this specific gun make sure the safety is off before you put the mag in and then you know what I tend to do is I put the mag in cock it then take the mag out so the gas there's no gas in it and then decock it so I can carry it around with the safety catch off quite happily because when it sits in the holster the um, thumb release goes over the top of the hammer so it's not going to cock itself and it's only going to cock itself when I choose to so then I can put the mag back in and that's happily carried around safe. Plus, trying to take take the safety off is a pain in the ass. It's stiff as a board and it's quite awkward. It's not like um, the normal Beretta 92 when it's up here. Um, the fire selector, um, it's quite an easy, nice a little fire selector there. You can easily do it with like, your thumb. Uh, the only downside is getting it back up to single shot. You will need to use your other hand because, again, it is quite stiff. But, um, I normally only leave it leave it on semi-automatic. Um, it is, like I said, a nice heavy pistol. It's got some nice kick to it. Um, at first, because uh, of what it does have is um, in the muzzle compensator, what you've got is several slits. It was um, When it was firing, it was making a sort of hollow noise, like um, you're shooting a pond, and I didn't really like that. So I put some electrical tape around it, and now it sounds a lot meaner. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got the slide release catch like on a normal Beretta, rack the slide back, put it up, and then you've got the, um, you can't adjust the hop up from here, you actually have to take it apart, which is a kind of embuggerance. Take it apart, you know, you got that. On this side of the pistol, you press that in, pull this catch down 90 degrees, and then just put it forward. One thing I will say is uh, not like, um, um, Having used uh, the real steel P226 and Browning High Power, it's not like putting the barrel back in there. You have to kind of, it's quite an intricate thing. I'll probably show you in a sec. But um, yeah, I have to do this. But um, I mean, the mag's really good 38 rounds per mag. So um, really, you only need to take one out. <laughs> uh, me, I'm taking all three out of uh, my next skirmish. So anyway, so um, yeah, that is the pistol. It's quite a quite a loud one. And I'm not gonna keep doing that because like I said, gas is expensive. Um, so it has got quite a nice kick to it. And when you fire an automatic, even when you're holding it, like by the fore grip, it does actually have a tendency to kick up. Um, so we're gonna just quickly take this down. Okay, so it's a basic bog standard pistol. Um, inside, you know, you've got your recoil rod assembly, you've got your barrel, and then there you've got your hop up. There, which you just use a screwdriver. Um, putting this spring in, there's it doesn't actually slot into anything, it's just held in place by the pressure of the spring, which is a 
bloody pain in the ass because the amount of times it just shoots off is unbelievable. Right, uh, yeah. Um, I'm very happy with this pistol. Um, I think it was money well spent. Um, I think for my next pistol, I will probably get a Piggy 226. Um, I had to get a nice big holster for it. I was very pleased with the holster. It's a, um, I think it was made by Webtex. Um, it's actually not bad for a Webtex product. Normally, Webtex is pretty crap. Well, this one, it you know, it hasn't fallen apart on me yet. Um, the only downside is I can't use the thumb stud um, because the pistol is just too big. However, when it's like that, um, the Velcro on this part of the thumb release, um, basically the strap, actually sticks to this. So unless you actually pull it and then yank it up, that ain't that pistol is not going to leave that holster until I want it to. Um, the magazine, the uh, <laughs> spare mag pouch, obviously too small for Rafika mags. So uh, that's where my speed loader goes. Um, I'm making my own lanyards purely because I don't want to spend 15 quid on a fucking piece of elastic. I'm um, just going to use a bit of paracord. I'm going to spray paint my carabiner black. And uh, that will be happy days. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I was going to say something else. No. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, nice pistol. Nice holster. Money well spent. Unfortunately, I only had a desert one. Uh, but yeah, I do like that holster, and I do um, because um, the stitching on the leg straps are actually is in rubber as well, so it's not going to slide about. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, money well spent. I'm really looking forward to taking it out on the skirmish field, and using it alongside this. Uh, if I'm feeling really cheeky, I could always like try and do a dual wield, but I don't think that would go down too well. Um. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, for my first actual purchase gun, I am probably going to get. Um, I'm looking at getting an ICS M4 with a Riz, uh, Riz Duff M4. Um, it's purely because I just want to put a foregrip on it. I don't like having a hand under a handguard. I don't particularly like oodles of accessories, but it'll do. Anyway. Um, yeah, catch you later, and I'll let you know how it went to uh, Apocalypse. I'll probably take a load of pictures and upload them soon. So, uh, live hype smoker, I bid you.